Uh, hello, this is a note on how to solve for a course to steer to correct for current. And I knew we could do it on a chart, or I'm just going to do it on a blank sheet of paper, which illustrates, a, illustrates the same thing. And so let's say this is our chart. And let's just, and then I can define north here. But let's say I want to go something like that. Let's say I want to go 320 as my course. And let's say the current is coming up this way. Maybe the, uh, that's, let's say the set is equal like 040. And then the drift, the drift is equal, say, 1.5. And let's say my speed, and my speed is 6.0. And I want to know then the course, uh, this is going to be the course made good. That's what we're after. This would be called course to steer. And that's what we want. And then we would solve for speed made good. Those are those are the that's a type of question. Okay, so that's three. This is a course equals three twenty. Set is 0, 04. Okay, so forth. All right, so let's just start. I just randomly call. I'm going to call that north, like that's north. And so three twenty. I would just go over here to. Um, uh, something like that. There's a zero and that's 320. So let's say there's the, there's a direction I want to go, 320. And then let's say, uh, let's say I'm just here, for example. It doesn't matter where I am, but you're going to have a DR. And so that's my DR position. So the first thing you do, the set is 040. So the set is going, look, the current is going this way, right? The current's flowing this way, like 040. So, and we want to go this way, so we're going to have to point into the current to get there, into the current. So let's, uh, so what you would do here, let's just stop here, and then what we want to do is drift, just say, here's where, here's let's say our DR position, and, and we just drift for one hour in that current. So I want 040, let's see, here is, um, 040 is something like that there and there so i'm going to just drift up here now let me say that i'm going to and it doesn't matter what scale we use we we could use any kind of linear scale we want but let me just use this scale whatever that is that's a one to eighty thousand mile scale but it doesn't matter and i'm just going to use that for my scale and then i am here eight to nine to there, oh, that's that's a coincidence. T too bad, it's right on that line. Doesn't mean anything. Okay, so that's that's that. So that's where that in one hour I drifted that way. Now what I've got to do then my boat speed. My boat speed is six. Let me. I'm going to probably have to make this line longer. It looks like. Let me make that line a little longer. All right. Now from here then I want to go. I've got to go six knots. So I could, in a sense, do it this way. I could just put the six on here and rotate it back to there. Oh, no, there's six. There's the six. That's here. Rotate it. Ah, and I still don't have that long enough. Something like that. And you could be more careful than I'm doing here. But, okay, there's six like that. Right, here's six right there. And then I rotate it back to zero, and that's here. So this, this is the this is the direction I'm going to drive the boat. You see, so I'm going to drive the boat this direction, and then uh, and so what that means is, if you think of it over, see, so this length of this line is six. The length of this line is one point five. The length of this line, which is by the way, oh, it's almost also six. A little bit longer. Let's see, is that exactly six? That's that's uh, pretty much six. This is going to be just very slightly longer. I should have maybe made a bigger current. I'll do another example. This, well, let me see here. What is that? That's 6.1. 6.1. So that's a speed made good, 6.1. So you can think of it this way. You see, I've got, oh, and I know, I've got to know what direction that is. So you can just line this, line this up here. You see, you line that up there, or you use the parallel rollers and you move it over to here. And that's direction uh, three, three, uh, oh, about 315. So I'm gonna steer in direction 315 true. 
And then this is the direction here is 320. Is that right? Okay. 320. Okay, so you see I'm pointing five degrees into the current. So you can think of it, okay, so that's the answer. The answer is you would, that would be your course to steer, that would be 315. Your, your speed made good is gonna be then 6.1. Now, uh, and so you can think of it this way, you can think of it like here, you go, you're sailing from this point, you go for one hour, you're sailing up here for one hour, and then in, in that hour, the, the current brings you back to here, right? So you see that's this one's a parallelogram. So I sail six, I sail one hour, six miles this way. In the meantime, the current takes me one, uh, one and a half miles this way. So I'm right on my line, no matter where it is. So that's that, that's that solution. Let me stop at that one so it's not too long. And now I'll just come back and do another one right after that.